Hi everyone, it's Sal here. Welcome back to another perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be telling you about my top five fragrances which I believe every woman needs for the summertime. But before we jump into the video, if you're new to my channel then welcome! If you're interested in weekly perfume related videos then I would absolutely love it if you would click the subscribe button below and if you would like to be notified every time I post you can activate the notification bell as well. Also feel free to check out my many many other perfume videos that I already have on my channel. I believe I have over a hundred other videos on my channel at the moment. Um, I might try and remember to link some playlists in the description box so you can check out all of my many other perfume uh, related videos. So first up today you guys I want to show a really nice um, affordable option for a fantastic summer fragrance and that is Ariana Grande Cloud. Now this perfume is absolutely fantastic to me, it is very very affordable but it doesn't really smell too cheap in my opinion. So the main things that I can smell with this fragrance is your really light and airy yet creamy coconutty kind of fragrance. It's slightly it's slightly interesting from that lavender note that they have in here and it's kind of bright as well in the opening from the bergamot. Overall, this is just such a nice, carefree, um, sweet, creamy, slightly like tonic, uh, easygoing fragrance, perfect for every day. And I think um, the thing about this that makes it perfect for the summertime is that coconut note. So you really get this kind of coconutty feeling from this fragrance, reminiscent of coconut milk. It's very nice and mild and it kind of reminds me of the beach, maybe nice luxurious uh, coconutty lotions, things like that. It just kind of reminds me of the summertime you guys and I think that this is an absolutely fantastic fragrance option. Many of course uh, compare this fragrance to Baccarat Rouge and I believe at one point I may have compared it to that fragrance when I did a comparison video um, and there are some similarities between the two fragrances but overall I would say that they're very very different. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> however, if you're wanting that similar lightweight sponge sugar kind of feeling from a fragrance and um, the same kind of feeling that you would get from Baccarat Rouge, if you want that same type of feeling from a fragrance at a more affordable price, then I would definitely give this one a try because it has the similar kind of texture to it. It's got the similar level of sweetness as well, I would say as Baccarat Rouge, however it is very different overall in my opinion, just because this has that very prominent um, coconut cream, coconut milk kind of scent to it, which of course the Baccarat Rouge doesn't have at all, so there are some similarities between the two fragrances you guys, but overall I find them very different, but on the whole I would recommend this perfume to you if you haven't yet tried it and um, the idea of a coconut cream, whipped cream, light and airy, easygoing everyday fragrance sounds appealing to you then I would definitely give this one a try. Speaking of summertime fragrances, it has been glorious weather here in Scotland today and yesterday, both of my days off work, which was really lucky. Now the next fragrance that I'm going to be talking about today is an absolute staple in my collection, you guys. It is really a fantastic fragrance and I've worn it a few times over the last few weeks and I've actually noticed specifically how nicely it performs in the high heat, in the summertime kind of weather and that perfume is Sofia by Sofia Vergara and I know I talk about this perfume a lot. In my opinion this perfume is actually really worth the hype. It is extremely affordable but it smells more expensive than it is. It smells very very pleasant to me. It kind of reminds me of Coco Mademoiselle um, but kind of a creamier, softer, smoother version. It has a, a strong enough presence to it so it's quite a strong perfume overall but it's not cloying, it's not too strong so you know that aspect to this perfume lends itself very nicely to the warm weather. It's not going to be um, overwhelming, it's not too strong or anything like that. I would say actually the strength of scent um, would make this fragrance perfect for all year round. It's extremely versatile basically, but I have really really enjoyed wearing this perfume uh, in the summertime over the last few weeks to work. I found this to be a fantastic work time scent, but like I say it is versatile so you could wear this anywhere for any occasion. It's just so beautiful, it's slightly juicy, it's quite bright slightly sweet and a kind of florally, um, slightly juicy kind of way. 
this is very classy to me, this is elegant, this is extremely feminine, it kind of smells like a very well put together, um, trendy sort of woman, that's what this perfume kind of reminds me of you guys, and I just think it's absolutely fantastic, it is very very affordable like I say, you just can't go wrong with this perfume, and actually it has very good lasting power as well, so the times that I've worn it to work I have definitely noticed by the end of the day that I can still smell it on myself, and um, catching whiffs of this fragrance throughout the day it's almost like a kind of refreshing experience. It's a very uplifting kind of fragrance as well, you guys. I just really love this one. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Even the atomizer is quite nice from what I remember. I mean, the atomizer, I would give it mm, a 7 or 8 out of 10. It's a really decent atomizer for the price anyway. The bottle looks beautiful. The scent itself is stunning and uplifting and feminine. And I would just really recommend this perfume all year round, but for the summertime as well, for sure. So that is Sofia by Sofia Vergara. The next perfume I'm going to be talking about today is actually a brand new addition to my collection. I really, really am enjoying this perfume. And to me, it's just like summertime in a bottle. That perfume is Lanry Chazor Nude. So this fragrance to me is just absolutely beautiful. It's very creamy in a coconut kind of way, it's very sweet, it's actually quite heavy when you first spray it, it's quite strong, um, you might even think that it's a bit too strong, but actually as it dries down onto the skin it really balances itself out and it kind of melds with your own um, you know, skin chemistry and things like that and it kind of tones itself down as the hours go on. So if I'm remembering correctly, the notes of this perfume are bergamot in the opening, there is a heart of rose essence in here, and in the base notes you have coconut and vanilla. So it's quite a simple scent profile overall. Like I say, when you first spray it, it is really quite strong, but it definitely kind of mellows out to more of a mild fragrance um, as time goes on. I would give the longevity of this perfume maybe a, a 5 or a 6 out of 10. It's very strong in the first hour and then it tones down, like I say. So that kind of makes it a really nice perfume for the summertime, I find. I don't want a super strong perfume when it's a really warm day for me personally. I do spray quite a lot of this one, so this is a perfume that I um, have oversprayed on the days that I've worn it. Um, it is a fantastic fragrance. I actually, when you first spray it, it's, um, to be honest with you guys, the first time I sprayed this fragrance, I didn't know if I was totally sold on it. There was something very mm, heavy, like rich, indulgent, and almost slightly sickly about it when I first sprayed it. So that's, um, it's very rich upon the first application, but like I say, the dry down is really where this perfume shines, in my opinion. And um, it kind of, develops into this really well-balanced, gorgeous, coconutty, vanilla kind of scent with that rose essence as well. It's just, it's super soft, super feminine, super stunning. This would be the perfect fragrance to wear um, for a day at the beach. Honestly, this perfume is just the, the perfect fragrance for a day at the beach. Any kind of summer day or any day of the year when you want to feel like it's summertime, basically. I would spray this perfume. Um, I really enjoy it. I think the bottle is really, really pretty. I love this little peach coloured ribbon here and this slightly metallic ombre effect on the base of the bottle. I think it's just absolutely beautiful and I've really been enjoying this one for sure. Next up today we have a gorgeous fragrance from the Mongerlan line and that is Mongerlan Sparkling Bouquet. I think that this is just the perfect uh, fragrance from the Mongerlan line for the summertime. Of course the Mongerlan Eau de Toilette is also a very nice option but there's something about the fruity pear notes in here and um, the sparkling peony and the jasmine. There's something about those notes in this fragrance that just is very uplifting, very bright, sparkling I would say and um, just lends itself very nicely to the summertime but also the springtime you guys I would say spring and summer would be the perfect times of year to wear this perfume I absolutely love this one it retains that Mongerland DNA funnily enough when I first smelled this fragrance I didn't 
uh, instantly detect the Mongoland DNA, but after a few wears of it, um, I did notice that in the dry down. So as the perfume dries down, you can definitely smell that classic lavender and vanilla combination, which Mongoland is so famous for. But the real main difference, I would say, um, with this particular flanker is the fact that it is lighter, it's not as heavy, it's not as rich, um, it has that really nice pear note in here which is not overly sweet at all. It's almost like a pear that is just ripe rather than an overly ripe uh, sickly sweet kind of pear. It's not that kind of pear note at all, it's um, a very cooling um, a very cooling pair of notes in here for sure. You've got your bright kind of peony notes, your jasmine, like I mentioned. You have your sandalwood in the base as well, your vanilla, but overall there's nothing heavy in here, there's nothing cloying at all, which of course makes it perfect for those warmer days. I would say this is basically the perfect Mongoland to reach for if you find that, um, you know, maybe you have the original Mongolan, but you don't want to wear that because it's a bit too heavy for the summer. This is the perfect alternative in those kind of scenarios, you guys. It really is. It's a very pleasant fragrance. It's a really stunning fragrance. It's just so pleasant. It's kind of um, probably easier to like as well. So, you know, even if you weren't a fan of the original Mongolan, I would maybe still sample this. I mean, I wouldn't blind buy it, but I would maybe still give it a sample because I can see this fragrance here, this flanker, I can see it being a bit more uh, easy to like, even if the original Mongolan wasn't quite for you. So I really enjoy this fragrance. If you're a fan of really authentic smelling pear notes, if you enjoy um, vanilla in fragrances, if you enjoy lavender, and if you enjoy a kind of, um, you know, sandalwoody vanilla kind of dry down to fragrances, then I would say, you know, give this one a try. It's certainly a very perfect fragrance with spring and summertime. So that is Mongolan Sparkling Bouquet. Uh, last up today, but by no means least. In fact, I think this may be the best one out of all of these perfumes. <laughs> we have Chloe Low. Now, this is just the perfect fragrance for those really, really hot days. Honestly, if it was too warm outside, um, or if I felt that um, it was even too hot to wear fragrance, I would still reach for this because to me this almost has a cooling effect. So this is a very, very light, um, thin, aquatic, uh, watery floral scent. It has that really juicy lychee note in here. <sighs> Smelling this fragrance honestly feels like you're having a cool wash of water over you. It is just so refreshing, it is so calming and soothing, really lightweight, really airy as well. If you're a fan of those uh, really aquatic kind of watery uh, bouquet floral kind of fragrances then I would say you're probably gonna really enjoy this. If you enjoy the original Delina and Delina La Rose, like those kind of fragrances, then I would say you would also like this because this has that similar, um, almost a similar kind of scent profile, if you know where I'm coming from with this, because of that lychee note in the top. It has those kind of um, pink florals in the hearts and things like that. It's just almost slightly reminiscent to me of those Delina-like um, scent profiles. Honestly, this fragrance just transports me to a sparkling crystal blue lake, um, you know, in the middle of a forest clearing with multiple floral sort of rose petals scattered on the top. That's honestly where this fragrance transports me to, you guys. It's really magnificent. I would really recommend this perfume, especially if you're in a climate that is really, really warm you know, even even on days when you think it might be too hot to wear fragrance, I would still even uh, recommend you give this fragrance a try. So that is the beautiful Chloe Lowe. So there we have it, you guys. Those are my top five summer perfumes, which I would recommend to every woman to have in her perfume collection. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances. Also, please share in the comment section below what are your top five fragrances for the summertime. I'd really love to know because, you know, there may be some fragrances that you would recommend to me that I've never even heard of. So please let me know in the comments what your top five summer perfume picks would be for every woman to have in her perfume collection. Thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel out a lot. Share your thoughts in the comment section below, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.